Good morning, it's Kira with Morning in the Mountains and I am here with Mark with Sky High Air Tours. Now Mark, what in the world makes an airplane fly? Well, the shape of the wing is probably one of the most important things. Okay. Um, if you could look at the wing like from the end, you would see that it's got a little bit of a curve on the bottom. Most of these are flat that you'll see out here now. Mm -hmm. And then it's curved over the top. I and what that. happens is the, as you're, the engine is pulling the airplane forward, you've got air passing over the wing. Okay. And because the top is curved, it takes longer for the air to go over the top than the bottom and it creates a low pressure on the top of the wing and it's actually pulling from the top, it's lifting, oh, wow. as well as the air on the bottom of the wing, you know, but it's basically that shape of the wing is the most important thing. And then of course the engine, you know, the engine is an important factor as well, is that you've got to have a powerful enough engine and efficient propeller to pull the airplane forward to get that speed that you need. And then the other important controls, um, out on the wings, there are what are called ailerons and you can see they're kind of a little segment out there towards the end and those yeah. move up and down and what those do and actually the word aileron is uh, French for little wing. little wing so an aileron when it goes down it lifts one side and lowers the other one and that's how you bank into a turn okay yeah know? I could feel us turning a little bit whenever we were up there just a moment ago yeah I try to not go go too crazy on the turns. Oh, I then, loved them. Then of course you've got an elevator and a rudder too that you know that you use basically all three controls at once. An elevator. Elevator is the the in the very back, you know that makes the plane that actually pulls the nose up and drops it down. Okay. Now where's the engine? Is it the, up? The engine's in the front. Okay. You know this is called a radial engine, by the way. A lot of radial. people call them rotaries, but the proper uh, terminology for it is a radial engine because all the cylinders radi out, ra radi oh. radiate out from the center. That and they're arranged sense. like that for cooling. By putting the cylinders out like that, it cools very efficiently. Although it's a, they don't use radials anymore because it's a lot of drag. It slows the plane down quite a bit. Oh, so how fast does your plane go? We cruise at about 90, 95 miles an hour. A biplane will never be a very fast airplane because the wires, the two wings, the landing gear, and the radial engine is just too much drag. Okay. So. Well, thank you, Mark. Uh, I feel like I'm an expert on planes now. Well, you always, always good to learn something new. Right. Well, thanks so much here at Sky High Air Tours. You can book your flight with them coming this April. Now back to you guys.